On a recent visit to Costco when buying toilet roll, toothpaste and ketchup, I found a full package set of Costco Cobra golf clubs. But how do they compare to the All Singing All Dancing LTDX? Let's find out and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, that is right. Today we have the Costco Cobra 3 wood against the Costco, no, against the Cobra LTDX 3 wood. We also have a special guest. Gaz, how are you? How are we doing? Are you well? I can't wait for this So one. you love a bit of this, don't you? You yeah. love a little bit of, sorry, you thought I was going to fist bump you, so I'll give you one. You, um, you love a bit of money saving. We all do. We're from Yorkshire. Definitely. I so, love stuff that people can afford. Absolutely. So kind of £400-ish. I don't know what they're chucking out at now at Costco for yeah. a full set. So driver, I think it's five or six irons, hybrid, putter, and a wedge. Imagine that as your first set. You'd be like, yeah, and that's the thing, because if you don't really know golf that much, yeah. you'll think you've got a right steal. Now, you're looking at this one, so this is the Cobra LTDX. Yeah. They're like two, I'm going to put on screen what they are now. They're quite expensive. Yeah. And I've got that in matching specs. So we've done this with the driver, we've done it with the hybrid, we've done it with the irons. Guys, let's see exactly how much difference there is with the all singing LTDX or the budget Cobra Costco. Right guys, we are out here today at Silkstone Golf Club. Huge thanks to the guys at Silkstone for getting us out. And I have been in the simulator room at Woolley Park Golf Club testing these clubs for numbers and dispersion. Do not go anywhere. You want to see that. Guys, I'll let you have the honour, mate. Are you going to go yeah, expensive I'm, first? I'm going to go LTD first. I'm going to put one out there. Guys, comment below. What is the difference going to be for the price? I mean... Oh, that is a bullet. Well, that struck well. I mean, that's a good, a good one to compare against. Yeah, that is out there, mate. Lovely big high draw. Looks very traditional looking, this one. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I like the sort of lines on top as well. I'll just sort of get an idea of centre of the club. Totally different one there. That's a Healy yeah. one out to the right. Now, interestingly as well, so a lot of people say, well, James, to make this test fair, you should put this hazardous smoke shaft in the Cobra Club or the Costco Club, but that's not, I don't think that's fair because we're testing the club as a whole, as a package, yeah. not just testing the club head. It looked there like the shaft maybe didn't kick correctly people for you. People probably want to know how this performs, don't Absolutely. they? Absolutely, as, as an item, yeah. Um, I'm going to go LTDX to start as well. Right. And interestingly, when testing clubs like this, I'm always thinking about the look, I'm thinking about the feel, the sound, not just performance for the money. Let's try and get one down that fairway. I do love the look of this, though. Struck that really well. It's just a bit fadey. Is it going to carry that bunker? Yeah. Yeah, just carried it. Right, and now we'll go Cobra Costco special. So this was literally on the aisle next to the ketchup, next to the toothpaste, next to the loo roll. Um, and then Gaz said, I absolutely love that top line. It really helps you with alignment. This is the best looking club in the package set. The irons looked okay. The driver looked terrible. The three wood actually doesn't look bad. Ooh, you bit that well. That's going to be a really interesting comparison because they were two very similar swings. Yeah, that's well over the bunker as well. Guys, yeah. let's get down there, see where they are. Right, so some very interesting tee shots there, guys. And I really wanted to get Gaz on the channel here because Gaz knows what it's like looking for some decent budget golf clubs. Yeah. So I think me doing these videos on my own is sometimes great, but sometimes I like to get people who are in the know. What do you think if people turned up for a lesson with you being a PJ Pro? With, would you know they're from Costco or would you not have any idea? I wouldn't have known until today. I wouldn't have known until this video. So if people are thinking I'm not going to go to Costco and buy my golf clubs because it might be a bit embarrassing, yeah. maybe maybe it's not as embarrassing as you might think. I knew they did Callaway ones, but they're obviously branching out a bit. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, funnily enough, I can see some shots here, guys. And remember to stay tuned for the numbers, but, but we have my quite expensive Cobra LTDX drive here. And my Cobra one, Costco one, is all the way over there. That's interesting, isn't it? Well, my Costco one's there, and I've no idea where my LTD is, but it's somewhere down left-hand side. I think I think your LTD one's done it for distance, but yeah. I think you're in that left-hand rough. Just yeah. turned it over a bit more, didn't you? Yeah. 
Oh, he just picked it up there, but I know which one I'd rather rag, Daz, and it's not that one. <laughs> you were quick there. I know, I didn't want that on camera. <laughs> so, interestingly there, I think it's safe to say it is 2-0 to Costco so far. It definitely is on performance, but what about feel and look? That's the thing, and I mean, if we do look at these quickly, we're now on a drivable par 4. I say drivable, I think in today's weather, even with the three woods, we're going to be able to get fairly close up there, about 290 away. Yeah. For me, I usually carry a three wood, kind of two. 55 to 260 would you say one of those looks more money I, than the other i guess we're obviously looking at it from a low handicapper's point of view as well but you know an handicap i actually prefer this one yeah because it's a little bit bigger profile isn't yeah it? a little bit bigger profile a little bit more kind of offset as well which again a lot of the golfing world do want and i actually quite like that on top i like those thick lines yeah. they're the same width as a golf ball as opposed to just having that kind of ridge back on the back of there do you want to go first again yeah in terms of feel, I don't know what you felt, but I felt this felt a little bit more like titanium in it. You know, a bit more. Yeah, that, and that's um, that's the more expensive one, isn't it? Yeah, the other one were a bit like fuddy. Not a bad feel, but a bit more traditional feeling. Oh, not the best swing. Trying to come back a bit. Right, just be short right. See, this is interesting because you've got one left and right with that. And obviously, yeah. a golf swing's a golf swing. We're not here to uh, to pick fault at that. But is this is this Costco club any easier to is hit, Costco maybe? Costco club, that's that what I need. Yeah, potentially, yeah. <laughs> it could be answer to my problems. I don't think it's answering them problems, right? <laughs> A bit bottomy. Eh? I've got away with it. It's nice and straight. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how far that actually gets. Neither of those are your best shots, but again, I think I'm going to safely say that the Costco is winning there. I'm going to switch up, guys. I'm going to go Costco first this time. Right. And interestingly, we have spoken about how clubs sound and feel. They're, they're a very similar thing. It does feel, feel a bit more dead, doesn't it, than, yeah. than the LTD. Now again, that was a touch toey, but it's not turning over on me at all. That's a big old bounce. I think that's going to be flag high, you know. That's tiger line today. Yeah, right? it is really right. Quite interesting to say as well. When you do pay the money for these, you do get more technology. You do get the adjustability. You do get the weighting at the back. You do get the HOT face. I could go on, but you also get the option of having the LTDX, the LTDX LS, the LTDX draw bias. It literally does go on, whereas with the Costco, you just get what you're given. This is the standard one. So again, the fairer test. I've absolutely ripped that. Yeah. On that shot alone, I would pay the money for this, but then I am an avid golfer. I love yeah. golf. Probably as much as some of you guys do at home, maybe a little bit more. I wonder if you got the Arcos, but you don't actually, so that's not there. But let's see where they've got to. I have it two fantastic shots there, if I do say so myself. I remember when I first started golf, and I can tell you now, I'd be over at moon with these. Yeah, and that's the thing, isn't it? So we're all playing to a budget. Some have a higher budget than others, but if you've not been playing very long, and they're well within your budget, and you pick up some Costco golf balls while you're there. I mean, for a first set, or possibly even, you know, a second set. It, yeah. I think it's... a. So if I was getting someone like Foxy into the game now, Foxy, yeah. yeah, something like that, you're not going to see much of a difference, are I you? I reckon Foxy would prefer this over LTD. You know, yeah, profile potentially, wise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or that higher handicap of golf. And if you snap them, you're not in as much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be that guy, guys, but I can see uh, I can see my LTD in the middle of that green. That is awesome. That is awesome. And that, for me, is almost what you kind of pay for when you're paying the big bucks. Uh, my, what's it called, X? The Costco one, yeah. that's just short left. Gaz, yours is up here near that I bunker. Topped that. You topped, topped that. He has topped green. it. Uh, and Gaz's Costco ball is here. My Costco ball is just on the front edge. But is that what you're paying that money for? Are you paying that money for that a little bit more performance that does help you knock it on that green? Maybe on a par five, maybe on a drivable par four. I think the kind of golfer buying these clubs ain't going to be looking at knocking it on green. Though. Well, I mean, you're two, you're two nil at the moment with the Costco ball. Yeah. So we, we, the, I think your LTD's taking a bad bounce or something. 
I think my game's resembling a newer golfing game at the minute. <laughs> it potentially is. But also, guys, this just shows how important it is to get out on the golf course and test. I can tell you for a fact, if Gaz came out into the studio, I can tell you for a fact, if Gaz went into the studio at Woolley Park Golf Club and hit 10 of the Costco club and 10 of the more expensive club, the more expensive club would come out on top. You do it on a golf course. Yeah totally different That's completely you're right shall we jump in the studio and show them the numbers before we take on that next hole yeah let's do it so guys in the simulator room at woolley park golf club i hit loads and loads of both of these clubs and as you can see the red ball flights were the costco club and the blue ball flights are the cobra ltdx now they definitely carried a little bit further they were a little bit more penetrating and if we do look at all the numbers here, you'll see that actually I didn't get as much ball speed with the LTDX. However, the launch angle was a little bit higher, even though they are the same loft, and it spun a lot less. So that led to 11 yards more carry and 11 yards more total. No, 21 yards more total. That's mental. Oh. So guys, they are the numbers in the indoor studio. As you can see, around 10 yards difference there, which is what I saw on that last drive however on the first drive i didn't see that all and you're not really seeing that all either well i'm just seeing it's more forgiving i'm not swinging well today and yeah for me personally you know it's a lot more forgiving than the ltd absolutely and i mean that was that there that last hole was a 295 yard par four and we've made a mincemeat of it with both of those clubs let's jump into the wind now and see just how far we can get up to this next green is that drivable i think it is you know if we play off front oh we'll go for front strike it's just right what do you what do you fancy to drink <laughs> <laughs> i don't know mate you've got the costco one to go yeah I think... oh i've nailed it you've nailed that one as well that's just a lovely oh. shape as well oh it's well it's a, it's a green yeah it's, it's edge of that fairway isn't it i'll go costco first this time i think we're trying to bite off a bit more than we can chew with the whole actually driving it but I mean, I mean that ball flight doesn't move does it it's beautiful i played that to draw a little bit but that's in the bunker you've got me on that one let's see if i can throw an ltd down there and i mean again these you might find these on sale a little bit now they'll be coming towards the end of the cycle with it becoming to the end of the summer oh he's buttoned it that's into the wind and it's high they're identical i reckon they're within a yard of each other same bunker look exactly the same uh, i'm not sure you beat me oh you have on the angle yours is there looking hey i'll tell you what both of these are in not, there to say you went in bunker both of them as well and guys we're going to finish there what do you <laughs> and guys we're going to finish there getting the comments below what do you think to the differences there both on the golf course and in the studio looking at the cobra costco club and the more expensive ltdx 